Hey, 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 hey. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Vera Lobeng. You can call me Lady V. I am super excited to be here today to share four things that you can do to lose weight, keep it off, get your body well toned, and develop six packs. What are these four things? I'm gonna get straight into them. These four things are, one, diet, two, exercise, three, sleep, and four, your water intake. I don't think, no, I don't think, I know. I know because I've been there. April of 2019, I started my lifestyle change journey and I weighed 200 pounds at the time. Today, I am 168 pounds. That is a whooping 32 pounds down. And do you know why? Because I focused on these four things. So I'm inviting you today to join me five days a week. All I need is 20 minutes of your time. If you are interested in becoming part of this community, just hit the subscribe button so that each time I post a new video, you will be immediately notified. Then you can choose to come work out with me or you can save it and exercise at your convenience. So I encourage everyone, all of you watching me right now, to join me. Let's improve our physical, our mental, and our emotional well-being. Diet contributes a significant part of weight loss. Unfortunately, a lot of us are malnourished because we're eating far too many calories and less nutrients. Let's take for example, white flour. When, it, when wheat grain goes through the bleaching process, 98% of the nutrients get lost through that process. So what are you eating when you eat cake and all the products made from white flour? It's basically garbage. So we shouldn't be eating all the simple carbs, things with added sugar, candies, the cake, donuts, all those things that provide you with energy, but no fiber, no um, vitamins, no minerals to help your body. We should be focusing on nutrient-dense food. So I encourage all of us, to eat balanced diets and watch your portion, your food portion. So eat everything in moderation. Carbohydrate is one of the main sources of energy. It fuels the brain. It fuels the heart muscles, the central nervous system and the kidneys. But not all carbohydrates are equal. There are carbs that are not full of nutrients and there are carbs that are nutrient dense, which are the carbs that you should be eating. So all the candies, the cakes, the donuts that I mentioned earlier, those are the things that you shouldn't be eating. All the, 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 the sugary drinks, those are the things that you shouldn't be consuming. You should consume carbohydrate that is good for you, which are things like fruits and vegetables. A lot of fruits and vegetables contain fiber, which keeps you feeling fuller. And as well, it helps to maintain your blood cholesterol level. Let's look at protein. What does protein do to you? Protein repairs, it builds and repairs tissues. I look at it as a building block for your bones, cartilage, your skin, your blood. What are some of the protein that is good for you? Things like fish, chicken breast, eggs. I love eggs. You can do eggs in so many different ways. You can chop some mushrooms, some spinach, put in, throw in some tomatoes and just put it in the oven and 
voila, you got delicious. Whatever you want to do with eggs, you can do so many different things. So protein is good for you. Let's look at fat. What does fat do to you? Fat is also a source of energy to your body. It also helps with um, cell growth, as well as it keeps your body warm. But again, not all fats are equal. What are the fats that you should be eating? You should be eating things like avocado, you should be eating things like coconut oil, olive oil, but you should eat all of those in moderation. So diet has a key role to play in your weight loss. But you would ask, why is it that a lot of people get on a diet and when they get off the diet, they gain back all the weight and some more. This is because the diet plan is missing a key component, which is exercise. Exercise is the missing piece of the puzzle for successful weight loss. So that takes us to the second component of what I see has the most influence on weight loss, which is exercise. Exercise is very good for us. Unfortunately, a lot of people say they don't have the time to exercise because of our busy schedules. No, 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 no. You don't need all day to exercise. You need 20 minutes a day, 20. 20 minutes a day. I ask each and every one of us to just do 20 minutes a day. You can find 20 minutes in a day. If you don't have money to pay for gym membership, you can do it at home. 20 minutes. Others say, oh, exercise is boring. It doesn't have to be boring. Exercise doesn't have to be boring. What do you like doing? Do you like dancing? Go dancing. 20 minutes a day. Yes. That's exercise. Do you like walking? Go for a long walk. 20 minutes. Good. And do you know what you can do through that process? You can bond with family, friends, your own kids. Do it together. Invite a friend over. Work out with that friend. Instead of going out to eat junk food and drink alcohol, all those are calories. They add on your calories, but they're not giving you the nutrients that you need. So invite a friend over, work out together, have some fun and do some good to your body. The other thing is about exercise is that a lot of us are scared of weights, especially women, because what we think is it's gonna bulk us up and we would look like bodybuilders. I said, no. That's not true. If your intention is not to look like a bodybuilder, you will not look like a bodybuilder. I have been lifting weights since June of 2019. Do I look like a bodybuilder? Do I look like a bodybuilder? No, I don't. So I am encouraging all of us to start lifting weights. Why? Because with weightlifting, it gives you better sleep. A lot of us who are on pills, you have to take a pill to go to sleep. Can you imagine swapping your pills for exercise? You're exercising and you don't need to take your pills anymore. Who will want to reap those benefits? Weightlifting also helps you to maintain a healthy weight loss. It also helps you to lower inflammation for all those who are suffering with fibroids and um, they are doing different things and it's not working, one of the things to do is to exercise. That's gonna be a separate video. I'm gonna do a video on this to help people who are suffering with fibroids. Weightlifting also helps you to gain muscle mass. As we age, we lose muscle mass. But when you lift, it helps you to gain muscle mass so you need exercise you need a bit of weight and if you want to be part of this community you would benefit 
from the exercises that I would be doing. I'm not an expert. No, I'm not an expert. But I am going to be working out with you. We will learn together and we would grow together. I will show you what I did to get to this stage from 200 pounds to 168 pounds and still going. I'm a work in progress. So I'm going to illustrate 10 exercises that you can do to get your body toned and to develop six packs. But the exercises that we would be doing together as a community, five days a week, would not only focus on these 10 exercises. So these 10 exercises are plank, push-ups, squats, lunges, Leg drops for us. Flutter kicks. Bicycle crunches. And with the weights, we have deadlifts. thrusters, snatches, now that we know exercises get for us, the right kind of nutrition is good for us and would help us with weight loss. Let's look at the next thing, which is your water intake. Drink up, people. Let's drink. Let's drink water. A lot of people say, oh, they don't like drinking water. They don't like it because it doesn't have any taste. Chop up some cucumber, lemon. Pour it into your water. Get a bottle of water everywhere you go. When you feel thirsty, drink up. Your body needs water. Our bodies are 75% water. What does water do to us? Water is used to circulate nutrients in our bodies. Water is used to eliminate toxins. Water is used to metabolize fat. And what you need when you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to burn fat. And if water can do that in the long term, don't worry about the short term water retention. Because a lot of people say, oh, they don't want to drink water because they would gain weight. When you go on the scale, it shows that you've gained weight. That's in the short term. The water retention is in the short term. Don't you want to benefit from the long term result? You want to burn fat, and so water helps you to do that. So drink up, let's drink water. So I encourage all of us to drink as much water as possible. Do not go um, thirsty and say you don't want to drink water because you, you, you don't want to gain weight. The reverse is true, you should be drinking water to lose weight. So um, what I do for myself and I encourage other people to do is put it, let's have a minimum of water intake of two liters a day but I see the essential thing to know is drink water as you feel thirsty have a bottle of water with you everywhere you go that's the trick so let's look at the next aspect which is the fourth category the fourth factor that I consider to have an influence on your weight loss it is sleep Personally, I did not even know when I started this journey that sleep was as important as what it is. 
with respect to weight loss. So I used to post um, my Fitbit results at the end of the day showing how many steps I've walked and all of that. I'll post that on my WhatsApp status. And a friend called me once and said, um, I noticed you're only sleeping three to four hours a night. And I was like, oh, I do a lot of work at night. I do a lot of reading and writing at night. So, but I catch up sometimes and I take naps. But then when I sat back and look at what my friend said, I realized that was really bad for me because I wasn't losing the weight as much as I wanted. I wasn't losing, it was as if I plateaued. I wasn't losing the weight. So I decided, I made a conscious effort to start sleeping at least eight hours a night. And that drastically changed my weight loss journey. I started losing the weight. And I could tell at that point that sleep is very important for weight loss. When I did the research, I realized that it's true. Sleep is really necessary for you because it helps with repair and restoration of your organ systems. It helps with mental clarity. When you have enough sleep, your stress level reduces. You can think better. You can do things differently. So I encourage each and every one of us to give our bodies the rest that it needs for us to be productive the next day. Make it a conscious effort to have at least eight hours of sleep. Those are the four things that you can do to lose weight, keep it off, get your body well toned, and develop six packs. Diet, exercise, sleep, and water intake. Now that we know these things, let me give you a few tips from my own experience. Set achievable goals, small achievable goals. If you fail, do not be discouraged. Do not use other people's success stories as a measuring standard. Use their stories to motivate you. Set your own goal. Carve your path to success. Work hard. Work towards your goal. Only use people's stories as a motivation. Focus on cheat meals as opposed to cheat days. Because when you cheat over an entire day from breakfast to dinner, it's very easy for you to pile on the calories and set yourself two to three days backward considering the success you've attained with respect to weight loss. So I encourage everybody to focus on just a cheat meal per week. So remember to check out my videos Monday through Fridays. I will be working out and posting videos. Remember the four things we talked about, your diet, your exercise, water intake, and sleep. Those are the four things, in my opinion, that have the most influence on your weight loss and the ability to tone your body. So if you've subscribed, come back tomorrow and let's work out together. Until then, it's been your girl, Lady V. Peace out.